Hello everyone! In the previous video, we've learned about the first two modes of the sensor, which are the control mode and the coding mode. So today, let's learn the third one, sensor mode. First, let's talk about how to connect our three components. When connecting, we first turn on the power of the controller and the Matata bolt. And then, we quickly click the controller's power button three times to enter its connection state. After successfully connecting the controller and the Matata bolt, we turn on the control tower and quickly click its power button three times to enter its connection state. When we hear a small tune, we've already connected the three components correctly. In sensor mode, we no longer hold the controller in our hand. We need to put the sensor on top of the Matata bolt. Due to the magnetic attraction, they can be easily attached. In sensor mode, Matata bolt has a perception of sound, color, light, infrared, euro, touch or press the button, message sending and receiving. So let's first introduce these new coding blocks and explore them one by one. We need to introduce this wait until block. It has two small notches which means number blocks and angle blocks cannot be attached to it. But we have these blocks and each of them has two nodules. In the animation add-on, we have the waiting block which means maintain a state for a specific time. Today's silent blocks are wait until blocks which indicates that Matata bolt will remain the original state until the sensor detects the corresponding condition before running the next command. After understanding the programming logic of wait until blocks, let's discover these blocks one by one. The first one is this block. Matata bolt first stays still. When it hurts us uploading, it will move forward. Let's try. Next, here comes these little blocks, which are about colors. The sensor is able to detect red, yellow, and green. Matata bow is walking down the street. Suddenly, its sensor detects a red flame. It turns out that the school is on fire. Matata bow rushes to the fire station to report the situation to the firefighters. And then, are these little blocks about light. This block can detect the light becomes bright, whereas this one detects the light become dark. There is a cave in front of Matata Boat, and it needs to pass through the cave. When entering the cave, it needs to turn on the light to clearly see the road. When leaving the cave, 
It needs to turn off the light for energy saving. Let's try. These blocks are about obstacle. This block means that when the sensor detects an obstacle in front, and this one means when the sensor detects that there is no obstacle in front. Matata Bo rushes to eat his school because he got up a little bit late. One car is in front of it and stopped for some reasons. So Matata Bo's sensor detects it and changes Matata Bo's lane. This coding block means when the sensor module is being shaken. So we can either shake the sensor to trigger this condition, or we can make the vibration of the road under Matata Bow to trigger this condition. Matata Bow is sitting in the sun at the door. Suddenly, its sensor detects an abnormal vibration on the ground. It turns out to be an earthquake. Matata Bow hurries away from its home and runs to an empty place. Here comes this coding block. It means when the play button is pressed. What needs to be emphasized is that the play button we mentioned is not the one on the control board, but the one on the controller. Matata Boy is invited to his friend's party. Unfortunately, his friend's home has been cut off. In order not to disappoint everyone, Matata Boy decides to give it his friends a live show. Next are the two coding blocks printed with envelopes. The one with an error is the send a signal coding block. The other one with no error is the receive a signal coding block. The signal sent and the received is allowed Matana Ball who use this block to conduct the next command. Both of them have a wrong notch, which means the number blocks can be attached to them and the number indicates the channel used to send and receive the signal. When we don't attach any number block to them, they are on channel 1, and if we attach number block 2 to both of them, it means they are on channel 2. It is worth mentioning that only on the same channel can they send and receive the signal to each other. These signal blocks are often used in multiple players games such as Rally Race. Matata Boat goes to another Matata Boat's home to go to school together.
Finally, these purple coding blocks are a little bit like the LED color blocks we used in animation and all. But their icons are different. They control the amount and color of the lights on the controller. This one means turn on all the lights on the sensor in set color. It is worth to be mentioned that all of them have a round notch, which means number blocks can be attached to them. By doing that, we can set the brightness of the light. We can shuffle the color to choose a light color. This one with a plus on it means turn on the next light in clockwise direction in set color. We also can shuffle the color to choose a light color. For example, now we only have a red light on our controller. We want the next light to turn blue. And this one means turn on the next light in counterclockwise direction in set color. By shuffling the color, we can choose our light color. For instance, we want to switch the blue light to green. Let's try. Today's video ends here. In next video, we will show you a funny sense story based on the knowledge we learned today. By using these coding blocks, the story we create will be more lively and vivid. See you in the next video.